and Lady Luck is queen. It's the Joker's Wild. And now, here's the host of the show, Jack Perry. Joke as well. We have a champion who's doing pretty well. He's won a few games. He's won himself $5,000 in cash and prizes, and he'd like to play game number four. Charlie, introduce the champion and the next challenge. Our current champion, who's winning a total in cash and prizes, $5,000. He teaches driver education, coaches his high school football team, and loves scary movies. Tom O'Brien. And his opponent. She's a registered nurse and a medical student. She enjoys snow skiing and water sports. Daphne Palmer! Daphne and Tom, welcome back to the Joker's Wild. Tom, on the last couple of programs, you won yourself three games. This will be game number four. You're winning $5,000 in cash and prize. Do you have any plans for the money? Uh, definitely to pay off some bills and the old gas bill, I'll tell you. <laughs> You uh, uh, teach driver's education. Driver's education, And exactly. the interesting thing which we gleaned on the last program is that you teach driver education, but you don't use a car. Exactly, right. Only it from the book. It seems to be a rather unique way to learn how to drive. No fatalities that and way. And I think I've seen a lot of people on the freeway here in California <laughs> that took their training with you, Tom. <laughs> but we're Maybe. delighted to have you here again, and you're going to play against Daphne Palmer. Da Daphne, you're a nurse. And a medical student? Yes, I am, Jack. Um, I'm a third-year medical student at UCLA, and I work as a nurse in the summers to help pay my way. How are you doing in med school? Well, pretty good. I just took the uh, National Medical Board exam, which is a two-day grueling exam, eight hours each day. Eight hours? Yeah. The suspense is killing me. Did you pass? Well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you pass that test, here's another test for you. These categories will be in use in the game. They are Fast Forward Trivia, I'll explain that, Explorers, followed by World History, Best Sellers, and finally, Country and Western. Challenger goes first, Daphne Palmer, that's you. If you get the Fast Forward category, you can go as many times as you want. Give them a spin. Joker, Explorers, and Fast Forward Trivia. Well, I'll take Fast Forward Trivia for 100, Jack. Each question is worth $100. You're going to answer as many as you want. The adorable Shirley Temple introduced this song in the 1935 motion picture, Curly Top. Complete the song's title, Animal Crackers in My What? In my bed. <laughs> you doctors are always thinking about bed, right? <laughs> no, that's not right. $100, Tom. Animal Crackers in my what? In my soup. In soup, is right. You have $100. <laughs> and it's your spin. My Joker. Joker, Joker! I know I'm going to be sorry about this, but I'm going to go for Country and Western for 200, Jack. A blonde country star named Tammy is best known for such tear-jerking hits as Divorce and Stand By Your Man. Excuse me, Jack. That title is D-I-V-O-R-C-E. That's what I said, divorce. Uh, <laughs> it's, I guess I'm supposed to spell it out. D-I-V-O-R-C and stand by your man. What is her last name? Tucker? Nope. $200 if you can tell me, Daphne. Why not? Why not? Right. Draw <laughs> so, uh, 200 to 100. We'll find out which we're going to win in just a moment. We'll finish our game in just a moment. Just a reminder that if... Tom O'Brien can win this game and the next game, he'll get this gift. For your driving enjoyment, it's a brand new car! <laughs> At the moment, however, he's trailing 200 to 100, and it's your turn to go, Daphne Palmer. Come on, Joker. Fast forward for the Joker and... go with fast forward trivia for 200. Okay, two answers could win you the game, but in any event, Tom does get a final turn. They were father and son, and both men served as president of the United States, making them America's only father-son presidential pair. For $200 more, what is their last name? Eisenhower? Not as far as I know. <laughs> You'll pick up $200 if you can tell me, Tom. Sounds like Roosevelt. That's wrong, too. John and John Quincy Adams. Hey, Adams. 
But the Roosevelt and the Eisenhower boys will be glad to know <laughs> your spin, Tom. Okay, come on, you jokers. Joker, country western, and fast forward trivia. Oh, yeah, it looks like fast forward trivia for 100, Jack. Okay, four correct answers could win you the game. Question one. General Tom Thumb, along with the famous Siamese twins, the noted wild man of Borneo, and Jenny Lind, all were employed by a famous American showman. He was Phineas T. Who? Barnum. Right? You have $100 more. You have $200. You want to stop for $200 or go for $300? I'm going to go for $300, Jack. On May 22nd of 1934, American outlaw Clyde Barrow and his girlfriend were driving down a country road when they were ambushed and killed by police. For $100 more, Barrow's girlfriend was Bonnie Who? Jeez, all I can think of is Smith. Nope. $100 you can tell me, Daphne. No. Jones. Almost like your own name. You're Palmer, and she was Parker. Bonnie Parker. No scoring, of course, Tom. You go back down to $100. It's your turn again, Daphne. Joker, Joker. Fast forward dribble. Favorite category. I'll tell you, I'm not having much luck with this, but I have to go for it again. Fast forward trivia you don't for really 200. You've gone off the board. It's too late now, but you don't have to yeah, go for it. In the 1941 film entitled Maltese Falcon, Humphrey Bogart plays a private detective searching for a priceless statuette. The detective's name is Sam Who? Spade. Yes, that's right. You have to run it out. <laughs> Want to stop at 400 or risk it and go for 600? I will, um, oh, let's see. I think I'll go, I'll go for uh, <laughs> uh, 200, fast forward trivia. Okay. Correct answer will bring you to $600 and could win you the game, but in any event, Tom gets a final turn. In a classic children's story, a young girl encounters a scarecrow, a tin woodsman, and a cowardly lion along the yellow brick road to Oz. For $600 and a possible victory, what is that young girl's First name. Judy? Nope. No. You'll pick, you go back down to $200, incidentally, and you'll pick up $200 if you can tell me, Tom. Dorothy. Dorothy, yes, you have $300. <laughs> and it's your turn. Okay, Joker. World history, Joker, and fast forward trivia. I'm going to go with world history this time, Jack, for 100 You learned your lesson, eh? <laughs> In 1932, she became the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic. Five years later, she disappeared on an around-the-world flight. What was her last name? Uh, Can't do it. You'll think of $100 if you can tell me, Daphne. Uh, Lindbergh. <laughs> Almost like Lindbergh. <laughs> and around the country, everybody is saying, and how did they get on the show, <laughs> right? Well, you'd be surprised. This, this may not be their particular categories, I assure you. They passed the tests and got on admirably. Uh, Earhart, Amelia Earhart. Amelia, right. Your spin, however, Daphne. Come on, Jokers. Country Western, Fast Boy Trivia, and Explorers. I'll have to go with uh, Fast Boy Trivia for 50. I can hardly wait to hear the question. <laughs> In the memorable 1933 film entitled King Kong, the giant gorilla carried a beautiful Hollywood actress to the top of the Empire State Building. <laughs> Her name is Faye who? Faye Ray. Oh, what do you know? Very good. You have $250. You want to stop for $250 or go for $300? I want to go for 300 Oh, you got courage now, huh? <laughs> President Franklin Roosevelt had three vice presidents while in office. Two of these men were John Nance Garner and Henry Wallace. What is the last name of the other? Eisenhower. <laughs> Again. Oh, you go back down to 200 and you'll pay $50 if you can tell me, Tom. Sounds like Teddy Roosevelt. Sorry. <laughs> Don't know politics either, right? <laughs> you may have heard of this man, Harry Truman. Oh, yeah. Your spin, Tom. Okay, come on, you jokers, give me a break. Joker, Explorers, and... Well, it looks like uh, Explorers for 200, Jack. Correct answer would win you the game. 
In 1519, a Spanish explorer led the army that captured the Aztec emperor named Montezuma. For a grand total of $11,500... Excuse me, are we in the fifth game? No, we're not. We're playing here for only $500. The explorer's name is Hernando Hu. Bellanueva. <laughs> I think he was a tennis player. <laughs> no score. You will pick up uh, $200 if you can give me the correct answer. Could you repeat the question, I please, doubt sir? it. <laughs> In 1519, a Spanish explorer led the army that captured the Aztec emperor named Montezuma. The explorer's name is Hernando who? Hernando Fernandez. <laughs> I remember when he pitched for the Dodgers. The answer is Hernando Cortez. I'm going to give you two a chance to simmer down a little bit. I know it's tough up for you, nerve-wracking. We'll get to you in just a moment. Some of our departing contestants will receive Artmatic Cosmetics, a rainbow of exciting and fashion colors for lips, eyes, nails, and cheeks. All rich in moisturizers, the proof is in the wearing from Artmatic Cosmetics. Also enjoy the non-shrink sausage with a non-stop flavor. Hormel sausage patties, they're pre-cooked to shrink less and delicious ham patties too, from Hormel. Plus Isodet's lozenges, give fast relief from sore throat pain. Isodet's medication is the most effective available without a prescription. Sore throat, try Isodet's. Okay, Jack. Our players are composed, relaxed, Raring to go. <laughs> Your turn, Daphne. Come on, Daphne. Okay, Joe. Come on. Flora, the pair, oh, and the girl. I tell you, this is an unusual game. Even her opponent is rooting for her. <laughs> Explorers for 200, Jack. Okay. This English explorer and soldier was a favorite in the court of Queen Elizabeth I, and he founded several colonies in America, including Virginia. His name was Sir Walter Who. Sir Walter Reed. No, that's not right. You win the game, Tom, with a $200 question, Sir Walter who? Raleigh? You win the game. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, Tom. That's game number four. You're now winning $5,500, and in just a moment, you'll play against the devil, and then you'll go into the game playing for an automobile. Well, Daphne, right. let me say I've teased you a little bit. Probably I only did that because you were so fortunate in life to be so attractive and going for your medical degree, which I'm sure you will do handily and become a fine doctor, and one day you'll get me on the operating table and you'll take care of me. <laughs> <laughs> Meantime, we, it's been a pleasure to have you here, and you do get some nice consolation prizes, and a very nice hand for a good sport, Daphne Palmer. <laughs> okay, Tom, come on over and face the devil. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was a long game. Probably tough categories for both of you. That happens from time to time, but now you're back in stride. You've won game number four, and now if you can get to $1,000 or more without seeing the devil, I'll give you $1,000 and these gifts. Tom, you'll dive right into this package of gifts designed to help you enjoy the water. First, Tom, plunge outside and enjoy the thrill of water skiing atop this sleek new water ski. Experience the thrill of slalom water skiing with the World Team 2 from O'Brien International. And for safety and comfort, there's a green vinyl ski west as well. Then capture those thrills and spills with this terrific automatic camera. Oh, the yeah. Fujika AX Automatic 35mm SLR camera with case, automatic electronic flash, and 10 rolls of Fuji color film for beautiful color pictures indoors or out. Next, make a big splash on the beach wearing this stylish swimwear selected from this great gift catalog. You'll receive an Alden's catalog gift certificate. Enjoy convenient at home shopping from over 40,000 items. Famous brand names, all at Alden's low prices from Alden's catalog. And finally, Tom, grab that swimwear and take a deep breath because you're about to dive into the blue waters of fabulous Hawaii! The paradise of the Pacific and land of sugarcane, coconuts and exotic flowers. Enjoy the golden beaches, tropical sun and island entertainment. We'll fly you to Honolulu, Hawaii, America's paradise in the Pacific via Western Airlines spaceship. Western's Islander service features warm hospitality and delicious cuisine. Western Airlines, the only way to fly. While there, you'll stay at the luxurious Sheraton Royal Waikoloa, offers a complete range of beach resort activities, championship golf and tennis, amid the breathtaking beauty of Hawaii's Kohala Coast. This watery package is worth in cash and prizes over $3,900. And the dad's out there rooting for you again, I see. Give him a spin. Okay, come on. As 
they say the punishment fits the crime. <laughs> Well, you have game number five coming up, but we're not going to be able to do it in this program because I want to go out in the studio audience. But when we come back on the next program, the first thing you'll do is play game number five for an automobile. A nice half of this young man, and we'll see you on the next show. Okay. Time once again to give three lucky people in our studio audience a chance to play against the devil. Charlie, who are the lucky three? Jack, we're looking for Roosevelt Coleman. Yeah. Morris Coleman. Where's your home? Iowa, Cedar Rapids. Yeah, you're just visiting out here? Yes, vacationing for a couple weeks. What do you do in Cedar Rapids? I'm the community relations, left. <laughs> community relations representative from McDonald's restaurant back there. For McDonald's, isn't uh -huh. that nice? And you enjoy your work? Oh, I love it. All right, well, you know how you play a game here. We're going to give you a chance to spin against the devil, and whatever you get is yours, and if you turn out to be the highest amount, then you'll get a chance to play against the devil. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, Jack, give it a go. Three spins as you get. 30, 40, and that's good. That's a lot. $140. Hang on. Are you Morris? I am. Okay. <laughs> Where are you from, Morris? I'm from Mesa, Arizona. From Mesa, Arizona? Yep. What do you do out there? I'm an insurance salesman. <laughs> Had any luck lately? <laughs> What's kind of tough? Kind of tough. Yeah, want to sell me a policy? You betcha. What kind? What do you want? I don't want anything. <laughs> but at any rate, I know you want something, and that is to spin against that devil. You, you have to beat $140. Think you can do it? You bet. Give it a spin. Trying to beat $140. 30 40 Nope, $60. But I'll get back to you. You'll have $60, Hey, Roosevelt. Hey, how you going, Jake? Roosevelt, your first name or last name? Roosevelt, first name. What's your last name? Coleman. Roosevelt Coleman. Yes. Where are you from, Roosevelt? Tampa, Florida. Tampa, Florida. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm just out here doing a little work for my brothers. Add a new addition onto the house. Oh, I thought you were gonna I thought you were gonna have a new addition. I thought that'd be nice. And how many brothers you got? Oh, it was uh, seven, seven girls, fourteen all. Fourteen in the family? Yes. And they all live here I'm in California. The child. You're the seventh child. That should make you lucky. Oh, sure. Let's see how lucky you are. Give them a spin and try to beat one hundred and forty dollars. Come on, lucky. One hundred fifty. in a moment. Mars, you have, see, if you had 14 brothers, you'd be okay. Yeah. You have $60 coming to you. There it is. You can buy yourself an insurance policy. All right. Okay. And you have $140, Jan. There's $120, $130, $140. Thank good you. luck to you. And back to Roosevelt. Well, Roosevelt, how do you feel? I feel good, Jack. feel great. This is it, huh? Yes, sir. I've been waiting on this day for a long time. Have you? Yes, sir. Down there in Florida? Oh, yeah. Which town in Florida? Tampa. Tampa. Yeah. Uh-huh. Want to say hello to your friends out there in Tampa? Oh, hello, my little boy down there in Tampa, Florida. I don't know where he's watching right now. He might be asleep. Three hours different in the time. Yeah, that's right. Well, we hope he's watching, and we hope he... You have already won yourself $200, and now you... That's yours. Now you get a chance to play against the devil. You can stop whenever you want, or you can keep on going. If you go on all the way, and you get to $1,000 or more, I'll give you all that money, plus the 200 and this gift. It's a fabulous trip to Puerto Vallarta. <laughs> you enjoy the land of long, lavish beaches of new private and charming people. So see among its legendary past and enjoy its exciting present. It's marvelous Mexico, a vacation you won't want to miss. You'll stay for a week at Posada Vallarta in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Exclusive white beaches and private pools amidst 25 acres of beautiful gardens. Continental dining, entertainment, and dancing furnished by Posada Vallarta. This game is worth over
the going in. There's the extra $200. There's $1,400. Plus the trip to Puerto Vallarta, all told, in cash and prizes. You came out of this studio audience, and with no trouble whatsoever, you have won $2,850. How about that? I've been wanting to for a long time. But you know, Welcome back to the Roosevelt Coleman Show. And it's just time to say goodbye. We'll see you on the next program, and thanks, Rosa, for being terrific. Thank you. Some of our departing contestants will receive... Wash up with soap that washes off lotion. Jurgen's lotion. Jurgen's lotion-enriched soap in the new Wildflower Collection. Also, Clorette's Gum and Mints, the breath deodorant. Helps your mouth's own freshening power eliminate bad breath. Cost a little bit more, but it's worth it. Clorette's, the breath deodorant. Plus, the Repel family of Leisure Time Protectors provides up to five hours of total protection against biting insects. Repel, from Wisconsin Pharmacal Company.